What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Dealer's Auto Auction here in Oklahoma City. We're going to go into some of these cars and see what we can find today. So we're going to jump into this today with the thumbnail. This is a 2005 Subaru Baja. I haven't seen too many of these. They don't seem to pop up very often. And when they do, they're typically rust prone. These things are breaking in half. The unibodies falling apart and they're just rusting out this one actually looks pretty decent needs a set of tires it's definitely got some dents and dings on it but overall this one doesn't look too bad if i remember right hoovy's garage had one of these that he got really cheap sight unseen and the back end like broken half or something while he was driving it to the wizard's shop this one you know I would say it's probably average. The body's a little wavy. It's been repainted. You can see that there's been a lot of body work done. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. And the main thing is we got to get under here and look around for rust. I don't see any, although everything under here is crunched. So she's been in a she's been in an accident. Everything under there is smashed up. Take a peek under here. It doesn't look too bad. All right, no, a little bit of damage there, but as far as rust goes, I don't see any. Let's take a peek at the interior here. Definitely some wear there. The seats look good though. I like this, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. I think this is a cool car slash truck. Ooh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good she's got 180,000 miles on the odometer I don't think it's knocking but it certainly doesn't feel or sound right air conditioning Subaru CD player old school look at this with a knob and a push button a cassette tape deck there uh, wow it's different Oh, she's misfiring badly. You put a load on her and it, it, it gets it gets rough. AC does not work at all. Steering feels good. Brakes feel good. Important window works. Less important window works as well. Let's pop this hood. See if we can get a visual on anything that might be wrong under there. It did fire right up though. Not an issue. Oh, that hood is heavy. Uh, what's going on with that boot down there? Can you see it? Dead in the center of your screen? That thing's got holes in it. That's a, that's a, looks like a charge pipe and it almost looks like it's been melted. Well, unmetered air could be a big problem or a boost leak could be a huge problem. I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. I don't know what caused that, but yeah, there's uh, there's definitely something wrong mechanically with this. Maybe it's an easy fix. It again, I've heard that Subarus need a six pack of engines when you buy them, so I'm, I don't know if that's true. I really don't know if that's true, but I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. Everybody's warned me that if you're going to buy a Subaru, buy a six pack of engines to go with it. I think for this one, I'm going to stay away from it. Next on my list, a 2016 BMW M4 with 64,000 miles on the odometer. This thing has carbon fiber everywhere. Take a look at that. Oh yeah, this is nice. You got the carbon roof. These wheels are dirty, but nice. Tires are in good shape. Body looks really, really nice. Carbon fiber diffuser, carbon fiber wing, but it looks like we got some delaminating going on. Or the, what is that called? The, uh, the epoxy that goes over it has really, really gone to hell in a handbasket on this one. Good looking car though, overall. Very good looking car. See if we can take a look at the inside again, that wind. I got to be very careful. I don't want to damage anything. But take a look at this. Oh, she's nice. 
carbon fiber everywhere on the interior as well. I'm gonna slide in and close this door before the wind catch, catches it and takes off with it. You got your SMG transmission. Like I said, carbon, carbon, carbon. It's just, there's carbon fiber everywhere. Fires right up. iDrive appears to be working properly. We have a TPMS light on. I like this. I want this. How much do you think this would go for? What do you think? 25, 30? Probably more than that. Probably more than that. I don't know. There's one at a, there's cup holders down there. Look at that. Or you can put this blank in it and put change in it or something. There is one at Copart that's not damaged too badly, but it's, it's damaged. And uh, I think last week, or maybe that was IAA, I don't remember. It went for like 15 grand. They didn't let it go. Uh, but I was like, man, 15 grand for one of these? Tell me you wouldn't take 15 grand for something like this, or you wouldn't pay 15 grand for something like this. All day. All day. I have no idea what they actually go for. Um, you got all your settings here, traction control. These changes your gauges, I guess. And then you got your sports uh, for your shock absorbers and probably the steering or maybe just the shocks and then here is your steering so you've got your camera here and this brings you to a split screen you guys probably can't see that but a split screen for front and back cameras parking sensors right here all your radio controls over here climate control right here of course we're gonna turn this up while we're at it though let's let's see if we can get some air conditioning coming out make sure that works i like this I like this. I don't think this is something that we really need for the channel, but it's something I want. <laughs> you know, I really do need to be looking for something for the channel, but at the same time, like, I really do want this. Okay. There she is in drive. She goes forwards, reverse. She goes backwards. Back to neutral. Back to neutral. There we go. Back to neutral. Uh, I don't have any air conditioning at all. I'll turn it on max AC, but so far I've got nothing. Nothing at all from the air conditioning, which really sucks. Important window does work. Less important window also works. Steering is very tight feels very good brakes feel good as well we're going to turn this off because it has no air conditioning we're wasting our time on that that stupid beep is annoying sport plus comfort and sport the steering we have sport plus as well this gauge button sport plus okay <laughs> that's that's all that does really a whole lot of nothing um i love this car i do let's get out i gotta be very very careful with this daggum door. I got my foot under it. We'll pop this hood. And we'll slide out without hitting another car. Kind of like this blue. This carbon fiber. What is this? A strut bar of some, of some sort? I think it is. Carbon fiber strut bar. Wow. She sounds a little chattery to me. That could be wrong. I don't know. That sounds a little on the chattery side. I love those lights. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this on my list. Like I said, I've got no idea what something like this goes for. Just got a scrape going down it right there. It's not super rough, but it is a little rough. She purrs like a kitten. Depending on the price, this may be something I'm interested in, but if it's gonna be one of those deals that in order to buy it, I have to break the bank, then that's not gonna happen. I want it, but I absolutely don't need it. Well, since we just got through looking at a BMW, why don't we take a look at another one? Here's a 2006 BMW 750 with 79,000 miles on the odometer. She's sharp. She does have a lot of 
little dings that you're probably not going to see okay but she's got great tires beautiful chrome i mean that's like triple chrome looking rims right there but if you get closer she's got a lot of parking lot dings maybe this belonged to an older person uh, that would be my guess i don't know i'm just guessing and you know little whoopsies right there uh over here there's quite a few <laughs> quite yeah these are parking lot boom uh, there's several all it's <laughs> yeah all across this body line right here so most likely they had the car parked next to another car probably at their home and someone was getting in the other car and constantly dinging this <laughs> this side's got a lot of dings guys but whatever overall it's still a very nice looking car i think this car would clean up very very well let's take a peek at the interior it's only got you know eighty thousand miles how bad could it be this is not the li so that door felt awkward opening it very heavy wow very heavy to open it smells good it looks really nice in here guys no soft clothes it might be dead you know how bmws are boy those doors are these are heavy doors Ooh, what's going on here what is this somebody yeah i don't know oh that's that's the hood prop the hood popper somebody used the wire is the hood not I don't think I can get this open. Oh, wow. Ugh. I can't get it. I can't get it. Ugh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can't get it. So if she doesn't start, we are SOL. <laughs> Dang, you're going to need pliers for that. Yeah, she's dead. That's what it is. Dang it. Well, no chance the trunk has already popped, is there? Nope. You can't, you can't get it. There's no key. You can't get it. Nope. It's all electronic. That is a shame. I really wanted to see this one. Uh, these cars usually don't go for a ton of money. And that's perfect for my budget. My bank account would thank me. I really want this. Um, there's nothing I can do. I've got a tool that you plug into the OBD port and it puts just enough juice into it so you can pop the trunk on something like this. And that's where the battery is. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring those tools with me today because they don't like you bringing stuff like that out here. They don't want you bringing any tools, diagnostic equipment, anything like that. Uh, so I left it at home. Dang it. <laughs> so if I can't get this hood open, we cannot check out this car. I tried again, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. It cut my damn finger. And uh, I guess what I'll go ahead and do on this one is I'm going to put it on my list because I really don't think this is going to go for very much money. I don't. I could be wrong, but I don't think this is going to go for a lot of money. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my list. And if we get it in the auction, that would make a perfect content car because none of us know if it actually runs or drives and we won't find out until auction day or till i bring it to the channel so stay tuned for this one if you're interested in seeing it hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment down below the video let him you know you'd love to see the 7 series in a future video we might as well just make this a bmw video guys <laughs> here we got a 2012 bmw it's the x drive 35 diesel this is an x5 if i remember correctly with 132,000 miles yeah it's an x5 x drive 35d that means it is all wheel drive and it has the diesel engine it's got good tires the body looks good minor dings and dents here and there like right there for example but you know nothing that would stop me from buying it that tire is low on air maybe it just needs a plug or maybe you got to replace the tire but the tires themselves the tread depth is good they're not dry rotted or cracked but that one looks like it was ridden when it was low the paint on this fender is questionable and same thing on this fender very very scratched heavily very bizarre maybe from car washes i don't know let's take a peek at the interior sniff this one actually smells pretty decent 
and it looks decent. It looks like it's got power with the battery maybe going dead on this one. Well, thank you. She's welcoming us inside of her. That is a huge screen. Really? Is that factory? That's a big screen. Good Lord. Well, she fired right up. I'm curious, if, does this even turn on? It does, wow. Is that the factory screen for this? It looks awful big for this car. I'm just saying it's huge. It doesn't look right. All right, I could be wrong. Check engine light. Obviously, we have a TPMS light. She's upset. She's out of gas as well. This is booting up. Maybe that is factory. Wow. It just, <laughs> That looks way too new, way too modern compared to how clunky this old iDrive system is. Uh, I don't think this is stock. I think somebody put some kind of an aftermarket deal in there. Touch screen. And it's a little... Yeah, look at this. It's in another language. And the screen, this is not BMW quality. It's hard to see it. It's like it's got some kind of a filter or something on it. Makes it makes it really difficult to see. But anyway, I mean, if it works, it works. You got Spotify. Yeah, that, that's not factory. All right, let's turn the AC on. You guys know I got I to gotta have my air conditioning. We'll see if this works. 60, turn the fan up, and let's put it... Well, I don't even know what direction it's going. It's blowing cool, but it's definitely not cold. Let's put it in drive. Forward. Yes. Reverse. Yes. Park. Back in park. All right. Important window. Yes. Less important window. Also a go. Steering. Very tight, but not not awful but it's definitely got a tight steering wheel brakes feel good give her a little rev it sounds good as well my question is does the iDrive system still function it, I guess it does oh Android right Android there's another clue system yeah, okay, it appears the iDrive still works. Air conditioning, I'm going to say no. It's cool, but it's definitely not cold. Let's pop the hood. See how this diesel engine looks and sounds. I've always wanted one of these in a diesel. Boy, that wind is, that wind is killer today, man. She sounds good. Boy, she is dirty. That is really dirty for the for the mileage. Good Lord. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. 132,000 miles with that engine compartment. Looks like it's 232,000 miles. Well, she runs. No air conditioning. But overall, this doesn't seem like too bad of a car, guys. Not at all. I like it. I'm not in love with it. And we definitely don't need it, but I'm going to put it on the list. Oh, it's missing the uh, mirror cap. I just noticed that. I missed that in the beginning. All right. Make sure there's nothing else I'm missing here. Now the rest of it looks good. Next, we have a 2011 Ram 3500 with the Iron Cross bumpers and a winch. This sucker is pretty nice. A little rough, but pretty nice. It's got the matching wheels for the bumpers. It's got Iron Man tires. She's got 206,000 miles on her. Very rarely does somebody go all the way and replace the back bumper. Most people leave that stock, but they went with the Iron Cross back bumper as well. She's a nice truck. You got the fender flares. You got the bigger wheels and tires. This is not too bad. Big old extended towing mirrors. That's factory. But still very very nice what kind of winch we got down there 12,000 pound winch i can't get down there to see the the make maybe you could see it i don't think so all right let's take a peek at the interior see how it looks oh wow the wind is killing me nice leather 
trying to crush me with those doors too. Uh, the seat, she, you know, she needs a little help there. But I've seen horse no running boards, so you gotta kind of hop up in here. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's a Laramie. She fires right up too. Oh, there's your trigger for your winch. That's very nice to have. Heat is all the way on. We're gonna turn that all the way down on both sides because I gotta test that air conditioning. It's warm. It's gonna be cold as heck tomorrow, but it is super warm today. Let's turn this on and make sure it's up here and we've got air conditioning on. There we go. All right, let's start checking things out immediately. We have a check engine light greeting us at the bottom left corner, a seat belt light. Average fuel economy, 13.9 miles a gallon. Steering, even with those big old tires, feels pretty good. Brakes, they feel good. Service parking assist system. Reverse and drive work properly. Air conditioning is ice cold. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's see if we can go into 4x4 mode. I don't know if you can see it, but over there on the right side, yes, she is in four-wheel drive. Back to two. Back to two. Perfect. Uh-oh. We're missing a switch. That could uh, oop, that could be a problem. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the driver's side window currently does not work. Less important window. Come on. I hear it clicking over there. That does not work either. All right, so we got no working windows on that side. Let's pop the hood. Oh, yeah, see? I'm telling you, that wind, if this big old door closes on your leg, you're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a real bad day. All right, can we get this hood open? Yes, we can. Oh, she's nasty. Oh, yeah, that's what a Cummins supposed to look like. Hood struts are dead as a doornail. She looks good. She does. She looks good. Looks like she's still got her EGR valve. I think we still have our... Oh, this doesn't have DEF? What year is this? A 2011. Really? Okay. Well, I had no idea that these things didn't use DEF in 2011. How nice is that? I should have known because up here there's no uh, there's no place for your diesel exhaust fluid. Very nice. All right. Well. This one's nice. I like it. I'm going to put it on my list, but realistically, this is not one that I'm in love with. I don't need to have it, but if I could get it for a good price, I would absolutely bid on it. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the... <laughs> I'm about to get blown over here. Hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.